Hi, and welcome to Northern News. I'm Juliana Clemens. Thanks for joining us today. Today we will be highlighting many recent events in the Northern Burlington District, including the High School Spring Musical, the Jazz Concert, the High School Baseball and Softball Teams, FFA Week, Agricultural Leadership Day, one student's participation in a PSA shoot for St. Hubert's Animal Shelter and the Cedar Run Wildlife Refuge. Our first story takes us to the high school auditorium for the theater department's performance of Fiddler on the Roof. Students have been rehearsing for the past several months in anticipation of opening night. We spoke to a few thespians about the show. This spring, Northern Theater Department is performing their annual spring musical, Fiddler on the Roof. We took a look behind the curtain and talked with one of the performers here about this year's show. Hi, I'm Jordan Castro and I play Fiedka in this year's production of Fiddler on the Roof. The show is about a father named Tevier who has daughters and you know he has a wife and basically his daughters start finding love with other men that don't really fit their tradition and he just kind of has to deal with it throughout the entire show and you know deal with the fact that life happens in different ways. To prepare for the show recently we've been having uh, the set department work on uh, how they're gonna have the layout and lights and uh, we've been running rehearsals every day after school and dance rehearsals are twice a week and we get Fridays off to work on other things but you know it's mainly Monday through Friday is our basic schedule for rehearsals. I think people should come out and see the show because it's a classic and our cast has worked really hard on just bringing it together to give the audience what they want which is a fantastic show. Um, Mrs. Huckleberry, our director, has worked very hard on planning out um, the blocking and Mr. Taylor himself working on the music and Paroli's helping out too and everyone just comes together to really give Northern a fantastic show, which is what we're good for. So, Best of luck to everyone in the play. Break a leg. With Northern TV, I'm Jesse Ireland. Thanks for that report. In other performing arts news, the jazz concert took place on March 10th. Middle school and high school students displayed their talents for the intent of audience. We spoke to a few middle school students to see how it went. Let's see what they had to say. On Thursday, March 10th, Northern Burlington Middle School held their annual jazz concert. Many students, families, and community members were on hand for this exciting event. We spoke to some of the participants about how they prepared for the concert, and here's what they had to say. I'm definitely most excited for the concert because it's really fun to perform in front of people with the people I've been practicing with for a while. I've been practicing since the beginning of January. The best part about being in jazz band is performing and also being able to play an instrument that's not usually in band class. I am most excited for the concert because it's really fun to play with people that I've been practicing with for a while. Great job to everyone who participated. For Middle School News, I'm Morgan Davis. Sounds like the concert was a great success. In sports news, the Northern Burlington baseball and softball teams have gotten their season underway. Aiming to build on past successes, the teams have a core group of talent and an assortment of underclassmen who aim to make an impact this year. We spoke to a few players about their prospects for the season. Led by Coach Corcoran and varsity standouts Alex and Ashley Zola, Northern girls softball is ready to beat last year's record of 17-8. Last season, they scored some big wins against New Egypt and Morristown and look to be the force in the division this year. Let's hear from a player with more. Hi, I'm Megan Mayernick. We're going to be a strong team this year. We have a lot of returning seniors and some younger girls that are going to step it up this year. This year, base rivals are going to be Morristown and RV. This year we're looking forward to our night games, senior night, and making it far in the playoffs. Good luck girls. For Northern TV, I'm Gabby Tremol. Northern Burlington's baseball team is ready for another winning season. With many returning varsity players and Coach Doppler, Northern students are ready to step into the bleachers and support the team. Let's hear from our player with more. The season went well. We made it to the state final, but unfortunately, uh, it didn't go our way. Uh, the team's going to be pretty well. We got a couple returning starters. We got Mike Wainwright, Kevin Welsh, uh, a couple people coming off injury, Sean Allen, and we're going to be fighting for some spots in the outfield this year. It's, it's going to be a great season. Some of our biggest losses from last season definitely Ryan Shin on the mound. We're going to need the pitching this year. Uh, Tyler O'Dell, Adam Rapp, and Brett Parlante. Not to mention Eric Singlin. 
For team goals, we want to win the division, obviously. Uh, get a high high ranking seed in the state playoff tournament, and hopefully get back to the state championship. I'm looking forward to having fun with my friends and winning some ball games. Good luck this season for Northern TV. I'm Gabby Tremel. Once again, the Northern Burlington FFA organization celebrated National FFA Week during the second week of February. They featured a display of tractors, a petting zoo, quail hatchlings, and dress-up days to bring awareness to agriculture in our society. Here's what a few FFA members had to say on the topic. This past winter, Northern celebrated FFA Week here at our schools. FFA Week is a great showcase for the importance of agriculture in our schools, community, our state, and nationwide. Let's hear from a member of the FFA with more. FFA Week is basically a national uh, celebration of FFA chapters around the nation. We do uh, different events throughout the state. Um, we have ALLD coming up on Thursday, which is Agricultural Legislative Leadership Day, um, which basically gives members an insight on different uh, agricultural things that are going on in the state right now. So the days for FFA this week are America Monday, Tuesday is Blue and Gold, Wednesday is Dress Like Your Favorite Animal, Thursday is Flannel Thursday, and Friday is FFA T-Shirt Day, and we also have our petting zoo going on on Friday. FFA Week benefits the chapter um, because we are able to showcase our chapter to the community and be able to uh, show everyone what we're doing, um, basically community service events that are coming up, everything that we're doing, and stuff like that. A special thanks to the FFA and everyone who participated. For the ABCs of Agriculture, I'm Tyler Berger. The FFA also participated in Agricultural Leadership Day, where they traveled to Trenton, New Jersey to spend time with state legislators and agricultural leaders, participating in workshops and discussing the current and future state of agriculture in our state and country. Let's see what they had to say about the experience. Recently, members of Northern's FFA program traveled to Trenton, New Jersey for Advocacy Legislative Leadership Day. There, students had the opportunity to meet and talk with New Jersey's FFA leaders and were involved in various agriculture workshops. LLD is a six-hour session where you learn different ways to advocate for agriculture and you learn different things that need to be brought to attention and different ways to solve them. I myself learned how to advocate for feeding the nine, which is the nine billion people that we're projected to have as the population and the food shortage that comes along with that. It's important to me personally because there are a lot of ways that people misconceive agriculture or uh, anything that really has to do with it and it's important to FFA members because it's our job to bring out the truth in the matter and the fact of the matter is that agriculture is a really important part of everyone's life and if there's no one there to advocate for what it really is then there's no one there to do pretty much anything because if everyone thinks that oh it's just farmers all you're doing is like planting corn then all you're gonna have is corn that's all there is to agriculture but there's technology and science and medication that that's also agriculture and no one knows that. A special thanks to everyone who participated. For Northern TV, I'm Gabby Chamal. Our next story is about one of Northern TV's own. High school junior Bruce Franz, who regularly volunteers for St. Hubert's Animal Shelter in Madison, New Jersey, had the opportunity to help out on set for a recent series of PSAs that were being shot at the shelter. Bruce sat down to tell us about the experience. Recently, one of Northern Burlington students had an exciting opportunity to help the Ag Council launch its new shelter pet project campaign, Start a Story. We sat down with Bruce Franz for more information. The Shelter Pet Project is a collaboration between Maddie's Fund, the Ad Council, and Humane Society of the United States, which we promote animal adoption through ad campaigns that run on television. St. Hubert's Animal Welfare Center is an animal shelter located in Madison, New Jersey, and it's where we launched uh, the Start a Story Adopt campaign. Animal adoption is super important. You should definitely consider adopting an animal before you go to a pet store or you talk to a breeder. Um, a lot of animals are homeless, um, and we could really use foster volunteers if you're interested, but you're not sure uh, what kind of animal you want, we can hook you up with one. So there are about 8 million dogs and cats that were put in animal shelters last year, and this year it's actually projected to be more than that. When we were launching the Shelter Pet Project, I got to meet a lot of amazing people from Maddie's Fund Humane Society. I got to meet uh, Wayne Paselli, he's the CEO of Humane Society, and he was there all day while we were launching the campaign over television. Uh, we were broadcasting to Fox. 
uh, ABC, uh, NBC, and that's how we announced the campaign. But all the people there are really nice, uh, and it was really cool. Thanks, Bruce. For Northern TV, I'm Gabby Jamal. Now let's take a look at the commercial. Start a story. Adopt at the shelterpetproject.org. Our final story today involves the Northern Burlington Spear Organization, which serves to foster awareness about environmental issues and conservation. Recently, they brought in volunteers from the Cedar Run Wildlife Refuge to talk about local animal species and conservation efforts both locally and globally. To support their cause, they brought several animal specimens to school for students to observe. We sent a crew to the 500 building to get more information. This past winter, the Woodford Cedar Run Wildlife Refuge came to Northern Burlington along with some of their animal friends to educate high school students on New Jersey's wildlife and habitats through conservation and rehabilitation. Let's take a look at that exciting day. Hi, I'm Erin. This is Kristen from Cedar Run Wildlife Refuge. Um, we are in Medford, New Jersey. We're a wildlife rehab center. And uh, what we do there is we take in injured animals, sick animals, and orphaned animals. And we see about 4,000 of them every year. Um, so our ultimate goal is to rehab those animals and release them back out into the wild so they can be in the wild with their, their others of their kind. Uh, unfortunately, some of the animals are too injured to be released, so they get to stay on our site there at Cedar Run. And some of the animals are used for educational purposes, so they get to go to festivals, libraries, schools, um, and things like that to educate the public about their kind so people can learn a little bit more about our native New Jersey wildlife. All right, so today we're here to talk to some students, some high school students, about predator prey. So we brought some of our animal ambassadors. We brought a snake, a hawk, and an owl out to see some students. We also brought a bunch of artifacts so the kids can get a real hands-on idea as to what makes an animal a predator and what makes a prey, whether it might be eye sockets where they're pointing or maybe the teeth that they have or any kind of other adaptations that make them better as a predator or better at getting away as a prey. A special thanks to the Woodford Cedar Run Wildlife and all the students and staff that participated. For Northern TV, I'm Morgan Davis. Thanks for that story, guys. On a personal note, this will be my last broadcast with Northern News. I'm graduating this year and will be moving on to my college career. I have enjoyed my years of being the Northern News Anchor, as well as building relationships with the people and teachers involved. Thank you all for watching. I'm Juliana Clemens, and thanks for tuning in.